A few years ago now, I wrote a piece about Apple being the next big leap for productivity tools. And in that piece, I mainly wrote about how um, Apple Focus is, you know, intentionally trying to be a lot more sort of interactive in terms of understanding our environments. But more importantly, I talked about all of the different other productivity software elements uh, that underpin your day-to-day -day life. So I talked about how reminders can be more intentional about who you're messaging, what time of day it is, how much energy you've got based on your health data, and the same with your calendar based on all of the different factors and data points that Apple can pull from your system. The same with note-taking. I talked about how clipping notes and bringing notes together won't become a thing. It will just be done for you and brought together. This really is underpinned by the concept of health and productivity as one, and that's something that I outlined in as much detail as I could at the time. And I think iOS 18 is going to be the start of this, um, primarily because um, Siri is obviously the technology that underpins a lot of, uh, well, it's in the background to a lot of Apple systems. And I think that's going to be one of the first steps Apple takes towards being a productive experience. And what I mean by that is communicating with Siri will become a command bar for your iPhone. And this will uh, play into all of the different factors when using your apps. So for example, if you asked your Siri, um, you know, what note did I take three years ago and how do you think I've changed in that time? Maybe not for this first update, but hypothetically, it should be able to evaluate what you wrote in your journal based on your health data and based on improvements in time on other factors, using all of those data points that other productivity apps can't pull together. So what I'm saying with this is iOS 18 is going to be one of these, these leaps. But I don't know how this plays into it. Apple Insider reported that they Apple has bought the domain for iWork um, at iWork.ai, signaling that the company might be sharing off new AI features coming of its own productivity suite. Seems a bit weird that initially they have um, they bought this uh, domain really, really late. So I don't think that's probably in the next update. But I think this first iOS 18 plus Siri and weaving into your routine. I can imagine Siri being able to go, uh, you being able to communicate with Siri like, can you find this in my notes? Or um, can you um, add a task like this and make sure that I do it when I see this person? Contextual stuff, I think is probably the first step. Then it probably will seep into the uh, work-based experiences. But largely, um, my thoughts on this initial experience being Apple, being the leaders of the way is actually, I think, firmly true because I think health and productivity are going to come much closer. Hope you enjoyed this ramble. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I definitely think that it's going to be um, a really interesting uh, next step for Apple. Will you be using it? Um, I think it's one of these things that it's going to become much more attractive, but I don't think it's going to be the, the be all and end all uh, behind everything.